TLO was popping. Damn, I tried to stay stay popping as long as I got unblurry. Okay. Let's see if that's going. All right. We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. It is documentary. Sunday, I mean Monday. Tune in, grab your popcorn. Let's go. This is Britain's most dangerous prison. Full documentary. This part two. Let's get into it. Um. Before he could mount an assault on strange ways, he needed to strange know ways. just what resistance he was likely to face. The plan was to enter from the hospital onto Ewing, go up onto the ones, twos, threes, and fours landings, and clear the landings as we had the staff to do that. <coughs> At eight that evening, the riot squad entered Ewing. The power had been cut that day by prisoners. Strange ways was completely dark. I was on the roof and the call went out that they're trying to get into Ewing. We managed to get onto the landings quite well. But waiting above them on the wire mesh were dozens of prisoners. Armed with scaffold poles, they'd oh. taken from the central rotunda. They all of a sudden, account for that, we huh? just broke loose, yeah? Prisoners filled the wire and were driving the scaffolding poles, were driving them through the wire down onto us. Some of the scaffolding poles then are going to get launched through the net and at them, uh, hitting the shields, buckling them, smashing through the legs, oh, causing a lot of injuries to them. I think they So what, what, the prison, the prison riot people didn't come in armed? Stop, hey, you, UK, hey, cut that nice shit out. What the heck? At least the riot police gotta come in there with pepper spray bullets or Bad something. killers, no doubt about it. I think they would have liked to have killed us. I wasn't personally brandishing anything. I was just stood there with my hands behind my back, watching proceedings. Paul That's Taylor, what? I just seen, is he, he's, this guy is completely a censor. He'd have like a pen and a rose. Negative. And he'd start quoting Shakespeare. Oh my he was like a romantic anarchist, I should say. <laughs> the next thing that came along was buckets of urine and uh, excreta. Buckets of I what? Got, you know, into my face, in my nose. Buckets of what, sir? Urine and uh, excreta that came along was buckets of urine and... Buckets of urine. And uh, excreta. I got you know, into my face, in my nostrils, into my mouth. And everywhere so we knew what we was going to be up against and it was going to be quite a uh, violent response if that was anything to go by in fact a very violent response but we could manage it As, what is this day two two forty eight prisoners? Twenty hours of disturbances at Strangeways Jail in Manchester. Up to two hundred and fifty inmates are still on the loose in five of the ten wings. So about two hundred and fifty. Those are about the crazy ones, the the, the most dangerous ones. Then two fifty. The second day, I thought I was dreaming. I thought I was dreaming all this, and when he opened one eye. It wasn't a dream, real life. It's known that more than 50 people were injured yesterday, but reports of up to 12 deaths are still being described as speculation oh, wow. by the Home Office. I was taken aback by that because I thought- 20 dead, is that prisoners and um, staff? That's wrong, that's wrong. We checked to see if anybody had been hanged or anybody had been killed. So we put a banner up on the roof saying, you know, no dead. But the rumours of dead inmates persisted, and the world was watching. The pressure grew on Brendan O'Friel to act. My idea was to let's get let's get this ended, uh, let's get back in control. Overnight, hundreds of prison officers trained in riot control had arrived in Manchester. It's over with, buddy. 
the numbers is real even? The plan that I suggested was the main force would actually go through the chapel. As a diversion, other units would go along E-Wing, take the landings, which we could do quite easily. The helicopter was going to sweep the roof, forcing the inmates to lie flat. Inside, inside, Next okay. phase would be to get from the landings onto the wire. The prison officers were then going to go up through the roof space internally, retake the roof. We're still very uncertain about all sorts of things, but nonetheless, prison services let me have 400 staff, all kitted up. Um, well, yeah, 400 versus 258. Okay, the numbers are getting real against you now. But unless they're going to just stand there and do nothing, um, what are they there for? It was all lined up inside the prison down the side of the hospital, all in units, ready to march into the prison. And they just gave up. At two o'clock, O'Friel got a call from Brian Eames, deputy That's head funny. of the prison service. He was worried about casualties. I said to him quite bluntly, look, um, we've had a full-scale riot, we're still in a riot situation. Um, I can't rule out the possibility of casualties. I was on the roof and I saw a mass of prison officers coming through the gatehouse into the E-wing section. Some people got prepared with big, huge buckets of scaffolding clips. People were making makeshift shanks. No one's at the end of a scaffolding pole, they were putting a knife in, getting a hammer, and putting it down like a oh. big medieval instrument. It's war times now, man. So of force equals war times. The prisoners, they got nothing to lose these last 250. They got really, literally nothing to lose. They're probably lifers or, or 30, 40 years, and they ain't got nothing to lose. I would have fought to the death. Because if I thought one of the officers was coming to save me, I would have defended myself. Yeah. Brendan O'Friel then received another urgent call from Brian Eames. He pressed me further and said, could staff be killed? And I said, well, it's possible. That's the situation that we're in. He then said, it's not on then, is it? What? You must withdraw. The governor and all of us were absolutely deflated. We could not believe that order. Yeah, well, um, uh, I was certainly um, they were thrown. thrown by it. I think the expression that several people used was polaxed. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, you just had to carry on. Well, morale dropped through the floor. You see, the prisoner being taken over, and it didn't belong to them, it belongs to us. Everyone was elated. Everyone was chanting. Oh, man, yeah, everyone was, was laughing at them. I remember a speaker getting brought up on the roof, a big speaker out of the church. <laughs> there was a <laughs> song on the thing. chart at the time, Snap, We've Got the Power, you know what I mean? And people were playing it full blast. It was like a party within the prison. Oh man, what the heck? What happened to the sign? Oh, I get it. Copyright. So no point in watching this. What the hell happened to the sound? It's a come. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's a complete release of all the stresses and worries and anxieties that, that you're actually feeling safe amongst this big crazy storm. 
Yeah. They had them back down. They had them doing all that. Then they had them back them up. Yeah, that's still music. It's a siege. Dawn this morning, and the powerful beam of the police helicopter overhead picks out prisoners on the rooftop. Still With the world's media now camped outside the walls of Strangeways, Paul Taylor and Alan Lord were centre stage. My baby is waking up, but I'm trying to like give her some time. Maybe she'll just fall back asleep. If not, man, I'm sorry. We're going to have to do a part three. Y'all get it. Y'all got to understand. Man. He couldn't be too lax about it. He couldn't be too jovial about it. Because We're then the whole sleep, incident but... becomes oh, trivial and nonsensical. And that's what it wasn't about now. This was a golden opportunity to actually put under the microscope the prison system. This prisoner claims he started the protest, but says we didn't want a riot. At no time did anyone have any willful intention in respect of the very fact that a riot was being developed. I just wanted the, the public to know that prisoners' treatments Paul at the, hands of the prison service was immoral. I wrote a seven-page representation. Like and I went onto the rooftop and I started broadcasting it. I got four pages into it. And then they started drowning me out with sirens. And I thought, OK, two can play clever here. And I fought the classroom and I went down to it. I ripped off the blackboard, found the chalk, went back up. There's nothing they can do now. The message is getting out even, even worldwide now. It's not about that now. It's about pen on paper, but chalk on blackboard. One of the things I took upon myself to do right was go to the governor's office. And I found two books in that office, and one was the Stoppage of Letters book. The book detailed letters that had been stopped by oh, the prison's wow. censor department. Okay, so you airing them out, airing their dirty laundry out now. Okay, I get it. She going back to And what it okay. was, young prisoners getting a, a beating, a slap round the ear off a screw. So he's complaining to his family. He was... Oh, so y'all stopping, like, like it's like... Y'all can't do no wrong then. Like, y'all stopping anybody from knowing what y'all really doing in there. A camera crew across the way, and I held up the book, the front cover, so he put his thumbs up like that. Then I'm quoting chapter and verse on the board for the rest of the press. Lord and Taylor's grievances were now being heard far beyond the prison walls. This isn't Everybody a, a case uh, of yeah, go uh, prisoners on going on the rampage mm. uh, and uh, uh, destroying their go own the property. Courts. It's a case of prisoners going on the rampage and attacking fellow uh, prisoners. There's no modern sanitation in the cell blocks and men, even living three in a cell, are required to slop out. If we treat men like animals, we ought not to be surprised that they behave like animals. Facts, right. But for some of the younger prisoners, the rooftop protest had started to lose its appeal. Huh? Yeah, it's in my room. It's on the thing. It's in, the, in that black bag. I know she awake. I'm finna come in there. We'll lose it. Yeah, guys. So that was part two. So my bad. I will be back for part three. Uh, just give me a little bit. I gotta put my baby back to sleep. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification. It's getting gr greasy, too. It's getting real good. Man. All right, there's going to be no intro for this. I had to bribe my baby with a cracker to be quiet. So let's just get through this 15 minutes. Another young kid from my estate called uh, Matthew. And um, he was up on the roof with me and that. Yeah, he kept me head together in there. As I kept his head in, you know. You know, helped each other. It was getting cold, it was raining, I was tired. There was nothing else to wreck, so I thought, we might as well go. Yeah, their morale was going the down. The problem for them over with. was how to get off the roof. There was lads with balaclavas on saying, you know, we, we need to keep the numbers up. 
people in for serious crime, murderers. I wasn't about to argue with someone in the balaclava. <laughs> I was scared. They're gonna catch you know. our lives later. We had a lot of young prisoners. Uh, we felt we were at risk Shit, with the older know, prisoners um, of abuse. We needed to try and get them down. Prison officer Pete Hancocks was also a trained negotiator. He contacted Alan Lord and asked to meet him away from the cameras. What is there? It was decided that somebody has to go down, people have to go down to negotiate. I said, you can negotiate with them, Alan, because I'm not negotiating with the prison service. They don't listen to reason at the best of I times. feel him. I like that. Don't waste my energy. Yeah. I dropped down from the wire mesh onto, the, onto that landing bridge and um, you could cut the atmosphere with a knife. Is this the moment they're going to snatch me? Alan Lord was they get on the there, you? room where he met with Pete Hancocks. It was very brief, it didn't last more than five minutes, but the main thrust of the argument is what's it about? There's nothing to negotiate, honestly. Like, yeah, like let me hear conditions. <laughs> But their main concern was about the YPs, the young prisoners. Look, you've got a lot of young lads up here, youngsters, of 16 or 17. Do you want to be held responsible for what might happen to them? Look. So we're going to bombard this motherfucker no matter what. Now you got some youngins up there. Whatever happened to them is on you, sir. So I'm already serving life. What you want to do? That's what I would have said. Fuck it. <laughs> what? Now he got a heart though, remember? Tell the younger prisoners it was safe to leave. Well, as we were walking in back, there was a lot of hard feelings from our staff saying, you've just taken somebody off there and you're taking him back up again. We had to build trust. Trust. Not just with Alan Ward, but with the other inmates. I just stood in the middle. I like dude, he's smart. there was Tunda. And I shouted at the top of my voice, and it went quiet relatively. And I just said, anybody who wants to leave can leave. Nobody's forced to stay in this incident now. Within hours, several young inmates made their way off the roof. Within hours, you gotta notice, not minutes, hours, because they had to decipher in their head is he capping or not? Because these guards don't gotta be in prison with this nigga. I do. This is my butthole on the line, basically, is what they were saying. Y'all know, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> pause, pause, but that's, that's he is what it is. He a lifer. Didn't he, go he, around he selling everyone. Snatching goodbye, shit. Goodbye. I just got off. Me and Matthew went down. As I was climbing over, he went, wait for me. And then we both surrendered that, um, that Friday evening. Are they got news clips than 25 prisoners are left on the loose tonight in the ruins okay. hardcore of the hardcore. I don't want to get copywritten because of the news clip, a 1990s news clip, obviously. Mm -hmm. As the siege continued, the nation remained hooked on the unfolding drama from both sides of the prison wall. Tell Paul Taylor his mother's there when he come down. I'm Damn, Paul, they called your mom on you? You in prison, how they call your mom? That your mom the only one that can talk you out of that Mother situation. Mother came to Barry New Road. We oh, called man. up. We couldn't really hear. Take care of I love you. I said to my mother, I cannot end my protest whilst people want to protest. What's it been like for you coming here? Yeah, he's not playing about oh. it. It's been terrible. Stress has been awful. I see my mum anxiously, you know, going to, you know, like different broadcasting vans that were outside the prison. Georgia! To be honest with you, That's I don't mom. feel okay. too good about myself, about what I'm doing. I just think I'm adding to the worry again. Somebody going with Especially their mum, look at you. Oh, John, come down now while it's daylight and everybody's here. I don't want to see you distressed. So the way of changing that is to come down, but to come down to what? Some screws were just openly and all the riot gear just saying to us that when you come out of here, you're fucking dead. Oh man. That's the bad apples that we was talking about earlier in the documentary, man. There's always, it's always a few still going, no matter the negotiations that went through. Like, it's gonna be some all the time. 
Day 11? Wait, hold on, what happened? Can we get to day 11, day 12? At this point, it's only 25 of them up there. I get they standing for their cause, but like, do y'all try? Trouble at other prisons, like Cardiff yesterday, is undoubtedly copycat. News of the riot had reached other prisons. Damn. Things were starting to get out of hand. I was sent to this prison for the kicking! Day 13 of the siege and a hard core of 10 prisoners remained on the roof. A change in strategy was needed. Well, if y'all don't go get them 10 motherfuckers, like, what are y'all? By this time now, the psychologists had moved in. They decided that it'd be a good idea if they uh, get these female officers. So they'd be shouting up towards uh, Alan Lord and be saying, Alan, Alan. I love you, Alan. Alan, I love you. Paul, Paul, I love you, and all that, and acting stupid, more or less. We were cooking bacon, so we'd get the smell of the bacon coming up to them, and uh, and they'd think, oh, well, that bacon smells good, we'll yeah. give ourselves up. Yeah, when we had plenty of food anyway. Then you wouldn't go, uh, no, I wouldn't go. I think staff were quite happy because they ended up with a bacon sandwich. <laughs> they was not giving y'all ass no bacon when y'all got out there. What the hell? The siege was now three weeks old, the longest in Britain's penal history. Jeez. With seven men still inside the prison, the governor looked to his newest. They had seven men left, and they had that. They got 200, 400 men, 200, 400 prison guards for seven dudes now at this point members of staff for a breakthrough. I'm now don't get the well, size of the war I'm on now. Very much about having good verbal ability, being able to get close to the other person. Empathy. Oh. He said we need a female to go and speak to them. And he said you know them all. The man Lisa John knew best was Alan Lord. We'd heard rumors that he was actually sleeping on the landings with a noose around his neck. If the staff had tried to enter the prison, he was going to hang himself off, off the landing. Lord was the linchpin to regaining the prison. Brendan O'Friel ordered a squad to recapture him. So we're waiting in the cell now, four of us. All this okay, they got a squad on them now. Shields and everything. And there was actually um, some baby on the roof. John John called down. He said, the, um, Lisa Jones wants to see that Ewing girl. Talk to you. I'll never forget his words as I was making my way down towards Ewing. He said, just be careful, lad. I said, oh, I'll be all right. Don't worry. That was the end of that. I'm thinking about how's he going to fight? Is he going to give us a, a good fight? Are we going to struggle with him? Big, powerful man. I've dropped down onto the ones, and I must admit, through my own complacency, I, I didn't, I didn't see it straight away. And he went to the gate to speak to basically the lacking. negotiators. So basically, he was lacking. So off we went. We're off out. Bro. I'm looking over, and then I seen, you know, groups of screws all together in my area, come and rush him. And I ran at them, hit them, hit the shields and all that. Um, within seconds, they got all of me, wrapped me up and... That so he didn't go out without a fight, he tried. Well, I just got up to the roof that quick and let the lads know. It's over with. We have succeeded in returning one more prisoner to legal custody. Alan Lord was gone. The men left on the roof went on the rampage. Strange ways was ablaze this afternoon. Large fires started <sighs> deliberately in the jail sea wing oh, by rioters infuriated by the governor's announcement that one of their leaders had been captured. I was upset that they'd taken him the way that they did. You know, that Alan had been captured when he was a negotiator. Having set the jail on fire, they attacked the fire crew's call to tackle the blaze. Fire. They attacked the fire crew's call to tackle the... He's on bullshit. 
Early this evening, a prison van left strange ways, carrying Lord to another prison in the north of England. Lord's capture meant Brendan O'Friel now had the support of the prison service to retake Strangeways. We certainly got the number of staff that we needed, oh, and yeah, we certainly they... got very clear authority. They couldn't take care. They couldn't take it over because they had that little stand. Okay, I remember. Okay. They, you know, you could do it. Now they gave him the go ahead. The operation to take back the prison began at nine in the morning on April the 25th. 25 days after That's the riot crazy. started. Units would go in on different parts of the wing. Some would enter via the end of the wing, some would enter via the chapel. Twenty-three minutes later, the riot teams had reached the prison roof. They just come along every wing, all angles, and they burst through the roof. We broke the roof out, we're chest high. What are you going to do now? But with prison officers ordered not to risk their lives by climbing onto the roof, it was stalemate. Taylor displayed more antics from his repertoire. He appeared to be suggesting he could fly to freedom, but it was a lost cause. John! Anybody with a mullet, you just leave him alone. Let him let him do what he did. John! John, come down, John! Then we were just cornered. spectator event apart from anything else there are literally hundreds of people gathered around the prison wall watching this remarkable event hours into the final assault the prisoners were still holding out Taylor was still trying to mock the authorities despite almost being knocked off the roof by a jet of water finally at six that evening the men made the decision in our strange ways jail in Manchester live where the siege is ending as we speak. Calling the quits and there's no surrender. We just actively responded to our family's wishes. Taylor agreed to come down. That's pride, that's what you call pride. But, <laughs> but only in full view of the television cameras. And there they are, into the bucket. As soon as I put my foot on that cherry picker, I just felt terror. And I just knew that there was going to be a huge price to pay, possibly for the rest of my life. Oh, yeah. And the five of them climbed in, and they were giving gestures to the press as if they were absolute bloody heroes. One of them he was saying, get that mask off that skull bastard. Let's see his face, you know what I mean? They finna immediately take them inside and beat their ass. What the hell? I had to escort them into the police vans. I was still really angry. And something in me wanted to punch them in the face, but Of course. You was you was dirty from the beginning, from what way back. We knew you was one of the dirty ones. You can't do that. You can't do that in front of the car. The destruction as phenomenal. These pictures show they were not exaggerating. Damn. It was what sheer vandalism. It was, in my view, and I stand by that, an explosion of evil. It was as if our whole professional world had been taken away. I stood in the hub of the prison, was looked around. Not just me, but two or three other staff were there. And we were in tears. I 
Honestly, I hope they didn't. Forty. I hope they didn't do all of this in vain, and I hope there was change. Well, obviously, it was changed because UK prisons you can have PS5s and, uh, and and tablets and shit now, and wear your own clothes. Seven prison so. staff and forty-seven inmates were injured during the riot. One of the prisoners, badly beaten by other inmates, died of a heart attack two days after he was rescued. A prison officer, Karma, the who was taken ill. That's the dude with the six-year-old girl, Karma. During the riots, I don't condone this, but Karma subsequently died in hospital. Well, that's tough. R.I.P. Two, one, go. For his role in the riot, Alan Lord had a further ten years added to his sentence. After 32 years in prison, he successfully applied for a government grant. And now runs his own gym just a few miles from Strangeways. Okay. Despite the fact that they say that we rehabilitate you, that's a load of rubbish. You rehabilitate yourself as a human being. There's only one Look, person who's rehabilitated. That's no. yourself. No, I agree with that. Paul sure. Taylor was also sentenced to a further ten years in jail. He now helps his father run a taxi service in Birkenhead. These are pages of quotations that I give out to people in my home area. What's your favorite quotation? Friendship is the one thing concerning the usefulness of which the whole of mankind is agreed by George Catlett Marshall. Yeah, that's deep. My family suffered. I suffered. From that point of view, it wasn't worth it. But I'm willing to right. sacrifice that, you know, part of my life to know that I've helped change the prison system. In an aftermath of the riot, Wolf Report led to changes in the prison system. Slopping out ended in prison. Complaints, okay. There you go. You're welcome. But Britain's prison population has continued to grow. England and Wales have the highest rates of imprisonment in Europe. 71 out of 118 prisons remain overcrowded. Well, yeah, hey. Enjoy. That's deep, man. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Keep coming with the lit document of these, man. It's very educational, very informal. YouTube, I was here for educational purposes. Don't. Don't get on nothing that what I what I said. I'm gone.